What's going on guys? Got two special sticks today for you. Um, I did them kind of as favors, side projects for uh, two friends of mine and I'm really excited to get them out. I know they're really excited to get them and uh, they don't really know exactly what they are so um, this is kind of, kind of the first time they get to see them so that should be cool. Um, the first is for Henry. Um, Henry is I believe an army surgeon in Hawaii which is just crazy cool and uh, then he gets to play out um, on Hawaii and um, I did a Independence stallion, Independence mesh stallion with a king pocket in it, and he loved it. And um, so uh, he's been waiting a while to get this throne pocket. I finally got it finished. I think it turned out beautiful, and I think he's really going to be excited to get it. So this is a black STX stallion, and then we did a red, gray, and black throne pocket. So we did black leathers with a red center, gray accents, black mids, gray accents on the outside, and then red um, sidewalls and then black heavy nylon and red shooters. Um, just turned out really nice. It's got a great channel on it. Um, for people that say you can't really get channels on uh, traditionals, there's one right there for you, and they, it looks great. It's got a nice mid pocket. Um, threw with it a few times. I think he's really gonna love it. It's very similar to how the King throws, but with the mid pocket, um, it's gonna have some whip to it, but it's more like that even smooth release, but good hold, and so um, I think he's really gonna enjoy it. And uh, It turned out beautiful. And just. Uh, I was really glad I was able to string one of these up. I kind of missed doing them, and um, I'm glad that I'm able to get so many heads done that I have some time to string one up um, after uh, weeks of waiting. So um, it's really awesome to see this go out, and I know he's really going to appreciate it. So that's the first one. And the second one is something really special. Um, I finally got to finish this. I've had this forever, and um, it feels really good to get it kind of off the wall and, and, and back to the, uh, the person. So this is actually for my uncle and godfather. Um, who was a retired lieutenant of the NYPD and it was a goalie and um, played D1 and it's just an awesome dude. So uh, we got NYDP across the top with, with a little badge and um, oh the other thing is I wanted to do with this color. I don't know if you guys ever seen like old uh, NYPD uh, cop cars but they're like this crazy electric blue um, and when I was a kid he gave me a motorcycle helmet um, that was that color and so it always reminded me of uh, him and of the NYPD was that crazy cool blue color that they used to have. And so I really wanted to do something in that because he's kind of a, a classy guy and I wanted to give him something cool um, and that would stick out in the field and just doing, you know, navy or whatever. So um, I, that's what I did the color for. And then they always have, the cars had white, um, uh, sorry, it had the, a white like bar going through it or line and then it had all the fonts cut into it like this. So that's why I did that. And then they had the badge on the side, which was kind of a Royal Navy with some white lettering and then all yellow outlining it. So it kind of that's where the color scheme came from. And uh, so down here I put, um, I'm sorry, up here, I put Lieutenant Williams, um, that's his name, and he was a lieutenant. And then um, I did police the same font as they have on the side of the car, which I think is really cool. And then up here I did Lieutenant Seamus, which is kind of his nickname, um, that's uh, his, his dog's name that passed away a few years ago that um, was an awesome uh, golden retriever. So I wanted to put that in, um, in the head to make it a little special for him. And then it's got these cool like uh, police badges and stars going all around it. And then there's the stars on the back as well. Um, and then I did, well, actually Chris and I uh, strung this together um, and he did uh, a majority of it because um, he has experience with goalie heads. I haven't strung one in years. So um, it's got uh, yellow going all the way around it and we've got the heavy nylon in the throat because that's where it can take a lot of stress. And it's got a, a Royal Fade Throne Mesh 20 Diamond and it has a uh, uh, yellow nylon and then three white shooters. Um, I could barely throw with it because it's such a weird sensation, <laughs> um, especially coming from some of my pockets that are really aggressive. But um, I finally got the hang of it and it was a lot of fun to play with and has got really good hold um, to it. Uh, Mad Laxer, when he strung the 20 diamond, said like he was throwing box fakes and so uh, Chris and I were trying to fake with the goalie stick. Oh, and I also put a, a yellow uh, ball stop in it to kind of bring the yellow all the way around. and. Uh, Turned out really nice. I'll show you the pocket. Um, I got to thank uh, my buddy William and also Rob Madlaxer to help me out with this. They kind of, when I first got the head, I kind of reached out to them in terms of like mesh and stuff for what would be the best to string it up with. They said the Void Light's one of the harder heads to string, so I got a little bit intimidated by it, but I, I used their advice and it came out great. So here's the channel for the D pocket. Um, it's not as defined as it could be, but yet again, the Void is a pretty wide goalie head. Um, but came out nice, the throw is really accurate, and um, that's all you really want. And then it's got it's just over two balls deep, I think. It might be a little bit more now that I played with it a bit and pounded it, but um, it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it, um, and I, I know he'll love it, and that's what, what counts so much more is that he'll really enjoy it. And uh, his season starts up soon, 
Um, he coaches in Florida, so it'd be cool to uh, see him out there with this stick throwing around. And um, it's just a lot of fun. And I got it focused on a shorty crypto right now. But um, yep, so those are the first, those are the two. This is for my Uncle Jim, and I know he's going to love it. And then this is for Henry. So uh, those are the two guys. Um, let me know what you guys like more. I have a feeling if you're kind of an attackman, you're going to go here. And if you're a defenseman or goalie, you're going to go here. But um, put a lot of time into them, and I'm really proud with how they turned out. And I know the guys are going to love them. So that's everything, guys. Um, have a good one.